What's going on YouTube? Happy Thursday everybody, it's Vikings95 here. Today's video, I have a Prestige 2021 Mega Box. I actually did buy this off of eBay, uh, so I did not get this on Target's website for retail, sadly. But I got it off eBay and I really wanted to open another one of these and I thought it would be good for the Fantasy Rip League. And so you guys know that I do this once a week when I haven't been eliminated. Uh, last week I had a somewhat decent team. I think I was like in the bottom third. So I mean, you know, not great for the first week. I did it with the Donruss Mega Box last week. Not terrible though, but we are gonna try this Prestige Mega Box. This one should be really good because of the numbered cards. The numbered times three should be awesome. Uh, so I'm going to use this for Fantasy Rip League. I'm really excited to open one of these again. These have been a ton of fun this year. You get one autograph, multiple numbered cards, and uh, in general, it's just a, a good rip. So uh, this is my favorite product so far of the year. Prestige has been amazing. I've gotten super lucky with it. Uh, obviously, I got this. Oops, don't want to knock that one over. I got this Justin Herbert Youth Movement 4 out of 4 auto out of a Prestige Mega Box. So that is pretty crazy. That's the best that I've found. Uh, we did hit a Travis Etienne auto as well. And of course, there's a bunch of numbers, like I said. So I'm excited. Let's see what we can get. So it is not too many packs. It's only four packs. But uh, these things have been loaded, so... We'll see what we have. Hopefully, uh, the person that sold it to me on eBay made a mistake, and hopefully I get a crazy good box. But uh, I guess we'll have to open the packs to tell. So I'll open it like normal, and then at the end of the video, like I did last time, I will uh, decide my team based on the end. Uh, it is a risk, though, because if you don't hit a tight end, it can be tough. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what we get. Pack number one. We are starting off with Chris Jones. All right, I think he's, wasn't he hurt last game, sadly? Uh, otherwise, that'd be pretty sweet. Chris Jones, Ed Oliver, Devin White. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, this is a little bit different. We have a wild card points. Wild card points right here. I'm actually going to take this off the screen. I've never hit a wild card. I want to make sure I don't show the wrong side. Um, so here we go. We have a wild card points. This is actually pretty crazy. Um, wild card points can be anywhere from 150 to 15,000 Panini reward points. I've never hit one of these. Uh, actually, the, the resale value, if I were to sell this, would be pretty decent. So... Uh, that is not bad at all. I don't think this matters. I think this takes you just to Panini's website. Yeah, scan code to get the Panini Rewards app. So I'm people always put their thumb over it or cover it, but I don't think it really matters. But that is pretty crazy. We hit a wild card points. What is unfortunate about this is this is probably going to be my hit. Um, so it, it is pretty decent considering that it can be up to 15,000 Panini points but it's unfortunate that this is what is going to be considered my hit. Uh, so it is what it is. I guess I'll, I'll put this over the uh, the code. I don't, again, I don't think it matters, but uh, there we have it. There is probably my hit of this box. We'll see, um, but I'd assume so sadly. So Chris Jones at Oliver, uh, Devin White, and then the, the wild card points. We have Jeremy Chin with the parallel, and then a numbered... Right behind him, numbered Jamal Williams for the Lions, 45 out of 199. Right behind that Jeremy Chin parallel, so Jamal Williams out of 199. Cool looking card right there. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that wild card points. I was excited for an autograph, but uh, it looks like we will not be getting one. We have a JJ Watt timestamped insert. A Tylon Wallace rookie card, Trey Nixon rookie, and a Javion Hawkins rookie. So a couple rookies, insert. Here we go. I guess we're going to keep it moving. Ah, no more auto, I would assume. You know, maybe we'll get lucky, but generally those points cards take place of the auto. So we have DJ Moore, 
Julio Jones, Debo Samuel, Robert Tanyan, so we did get a tight end at least, a Raheem Mostert, that is going to be a diamond parallel. Uh, sadly, I think he's still hurt, isn't he? So, or not a diamond. What is this? What does this box have? Hyper. It is the hyper parallel. My bad. Uh, Raheem Mostert, hyper. A, not bad. We have a prestigious pros numbered out of 149 with the Andrew Whitworth. All right, prestigious pros, 149. The Whitworth. Let's see, I'll got to sleeve up the uh, the numbered card, especially since I'm not gonna probably not gonna be getting an auto out of this. Got to sleeve up what I can. Not bad. We have an Amon Green Living Legends insert. Eric Stokes, Jalen Darden, and Elijah Vera Tucker for our rookies. Of course, like I always say, and here's the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Kid Reporter. Like I always say, you want to make sure you check the rookie cards to see if they're short print. Generally, I go onto Cardboard Connection and uh, check there to see if I have a short print rookie or not. I have yet to hit one, which is kind of crazy. But McCool Hardman Jr., Kyler Murray, that might be our quarterback. We'll see. Uh, Daniil Hunter. We have a Jaguar numbered it is a josh allen numbered out of 299 and we might have multiple numbered in this pack actually josh allen out of 299 for the jaguars so not any crazy numbered cards yet out of 199 149 and 299 a jalen ramsey of the rams and it i don't know do i play this guy i might play him as my defensive player that is a parallel uh, cool looking card, followed by another numbered card. It is going to be a JC Horn, the Panther rookie out of 249. 20 out of 249 right there. And of course, we got to look for the uh, the eBay one of ones as well, because that does matter uh, for the point system. If it's a uh, jersey number, you get a super... Super big multiplier, actually. So let's see. So far, nothing, sadly. But uh, we have that. We have a Harrison Smith, prestigious pros insert. And then our rookies, Seth Williams, Kelvin Joseph, and Micah Parsons. Not bad with a Micah Parsons rookie card. That is sweet. All right. And then there was one pack. Ah, I think that wild card is going to take my auto. And it, it is cool. It is a nice hit to get a wild card points because it's a mystery. But, of course, we don't get an auto. We don't get the auto that we were expecting. I've hit a crazy auto out of here with that Herbert. Uh, so it's bittersweet, I suppose. Cole Komet, Devontae Parker, Jarvis Landry, a Elijah Vera Tucker with the Hyper Parallel. Cool Hyper Rookie. Our last numbered oh man who we got it is not a numbered it is another parallel interesting um it is Rashawn Gary we got two of them very unique Rashawn Gary I was thinking it was numbered this one's numbered it is a youth movement Terry McLaurin and I will definitely be using that one in one of my wide receivers numbered out of 299 Terry McLaurin of course, I put one of these in the wrong pile. There we go. Let's get them back there. Scary Terry numbered out of 299. Followed by another youth movement. Wow, interesting. A lot of back-to-back uh, -back parallels right there. Terry McLaurin out of 299. Not bad. Youth movement. Josh Jacobs. And then our rookie, the uh, rookies, Anthony Schwartz. Jeremiah Awosu Koromoa. And Kane Longu, we got my my rookie from Iowa State. Got the Iowa State uniform and on the Vikings. So that is sweet to end the box. Kane for my last rookie in the Super Bowl Kid Reporter card there as well. So, all right, I got to sleeve up the Kane, right? Got to gotta represent the PC, my Iowa Staters. That is awesome. Um, we got our four, no, actually no, five numbered cards. We got our, our hit with the wild card points. And then we got a bunch of other stuff, so I'm going to get organized and uh, decide who I want to play for this week's 
fantasy lineup. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, my picks are in. This was actually uh, not super difficult to pick. Sadly, because of the options I had, like, wow, some of these were very, very slim pickings, but we have some good multipliers. Hopefully this lineup can do something for me. We shall see. But I did learn that the wild card points do count as a multiplier boost. So this Kyler Murray, which is the only quarterback we got, I don't know how that happens, only quarterback we got is now going to be a times two because of the wild card boost. So I'll throw that back there. We have the uh, the Panini point boost for so the Kyler Murray times two. As I said, we only had Cole Kmet and Robert Tanyan for the tight end. So I'm going to go with Robert Tanyan. Uh, not ideal, but it is what it is. Running backs were unbelievably scarce. This is rough. Uh, we have Javian Hawkins, rookie, Raheem Mostert, Kene Wongu. I'm um, pretty sure all of them are not starting or hurt. Then we have Jamal Adams, numbered out of 199, and a youth movement, Josh Jacobs. So we're going with the Josh Jacobs and the Jamal Williams. And so Jamal Williams is a times three multiplier since it's numbered, but not ideal. We'll see if they do anything. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, Defense was overloaded. Look at all this. We have Jalen Ramsey, J.C. Horn, numbered out of 249 for the Panthers, Chris Jones. We have so much. Jeremy Chin parallel, Rashawn Gary. So much. I almost picked Micah Parsons. But we are going to go with Jalen Ramsey for the defense team. So we're taking the Rams defense. We got the Rams defense. And then for my defensive player... I'm going to take a risk with Josh Allen for the Jaguars. Uh, they're playing the Dolphins. Dolphins are not doing great right now. So I think Josh Allen could be a uh, an okay play, especially since it's numbered. So we get the times three, times two, times three, times one, times two, times one. The scary Terry McLaurin youth movement, number 299. That was a, an easy choice for wide receiver. And then we got a couple other wide receivers, and honestly, the options were pretty limited yet again. Uh, so these are all rookies right here, right? All rookies, not any huge names. We've got Jarvis Landry, Devontae Parker, Debo, Julio, McCole Harbin Jr., and DJ Moore. Um, it was kind of between like these these five right here, I guess. But we're going to go with DJ Moore with the one times multiplier. So... Not ideal, not what I was expecting to, to open up a prestige mega box. I think I paid like $65 for it or so, and they've only gone up in price, sadly. But uh, yeah, we got those wild card points, so I guess it is what it is. No time to, to dwell on the past, but uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Let me know in the comments if you would change any of the lineup. I'd love to hear it. My guess is it's mostly going to be defensive changes because there's really not much to change over there and not a ton to change a wide receiver either. So let me know in the comments, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great time watching football tonight. I'll see you later.